Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo Book IdeaPad 3. The exact model is an IdeaPad 3 15 IM L05. The model name is a 81WB. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the storage or upgrade the storage and what are the combination and limits that you can have in this laptop. Just remember by removing the main storage, you have to reinstall your Windows on the new drive. I made a short video how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. Follow the link in the video description. I made another video how to install your Windows 10 or 11 on this laptop. So you don't get those extra bloatware, which are the Candy Crush, the McAfee and the Wires promotion, and a few other stuff that they are affiliated with Microsoft that they have it in there. Follow that link so you don't, you can install it properly. In this video, we're just going to cover up how you can open up and what are the configuration. People keep asking me if they are supporting uh, M.2 SATA. We're going to find out that in a minute. Because I'm sure I know that they do take an NVMe, but let's see if it is compatible with M.2 SATA. So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. And we're going to go over the tools I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. From this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set and some Pro set, they will include you with some tweezers and opening tools and some other stuff. If not, just get the basic set. And for the opening tools, I prefer to use a guitar pick. And metal, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Right, with this on the hand, we're going to get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There are two types of screws, short ones and the long ones. The short ones are in the front end of the laptop on the front row. The long ones are the mid towards the back. So remove all of them and keep them in a separate pile. You don't want to mismatch them. You don't want to put a long screw where the short screws go. Otherwise, it's going to go through the palm rest and it's going to show up on the other side. All right. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps. I'm always going to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove all the screws, you want to grab the opening tool, and we're going to open up the screen. I already made a video how to remove the disabled option so the laptop doesn't boot up when you power on, and when you open up the screen. So you want to stick the topic between the palmers and the bottom cover and you want to twist it and you want to hear those big click sound that's what you want to hear work your stuff all around in the front to the side i'm sticking about two or three millimeters of the guitar pick i'm not sticking the whole guitar pick in there okay do that if you want to do the back grip you want to stick it right in there and then twist it this one is already loose enough to the other side and the power should come out free Easy, yeah. So I'm gonna close it down, paste it down, lift it up, remove the bottom cover. The thermal paste, thermal pad on the NVMe is already coming out. All right, and down here we can see the M.2 right here. It is a SATA connector. I see two notches, and there's a mechanical drive here. You can put it up to two terabyte low profile mechanical drive in here. Or you can put a four terabyte SSD, 2.5 inch in here. So these are the options that you can have in here. And right over here under this thermal pad, there's an M.2. This one is really. You can get a two millimeters thermal pad and put it right on your drive. This one is an M.2 SATA. It's not an NVMe. No, it is NVMe Gen 3 NVMe. But it does have a two notch on them. So it does have NVMe PCI Express Gen 3. So you can put a Gen 3 in here. I recommend you, highly recommend you guys to grab the uh, two terabyte, up to two terabyte NVMe's you can put in here. The 980 Pro from Samsung, these are really, really durable and they will last you many years. You can go a little lower than that with the 970 Evo Plus, but I would highly recommend the 980 Pro up to 2 terabyte NVMe is right over here you can put. And to remove this NVMe, 
To remove any of these, you don't need to disconnect the battery, absolutely not necessary, but if you want to disconnect the battery, you have to pull this jack, plastic jack out of this socket. But you don't need to, as long as you follow the instruction, you're safe. Make sure your laptop is off when you do this. All right, and so remove the tiny screw by this NVMe, and then NVMe will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And then all you want to do, what you do is grab it in the same direction and pull it out in a 45 degree angle. So you can remove this one and you can grab another NVMe. For example, let me see if I have one right here. I don't have an NVMe on hand right now, but I have something closer to the NVMe. I have this one here. It's an M.2 Theta, same thing as an NVMe. So you want to bring it down in a 45 degree angle. It doesn't have to have two notch. You can have one notch on it. Most of the Samsung, they have only one notch. Bring it on and make sure the screw hole matches right there, and then you want to screw it down. Before you screw it down, you have to remove this tiny riser that they gave you right here. To remove that, you do need a plier to remove it, or from this tool set, they do give you a, this kind of whatever you call this, to be able to remove these risers. So remove it from there, and put it up to the next one right here. Press the screw it down by hand. So if I can get it there, there we go. And then you want to just tighten it up. Not too tight, but not too loose. Put it there. And then let me find out. And then you can bring the M.2 in 45 degree right there. Bring it down and the screw hole is going to match nicely. And you can put this screw. Now let's see now with that one. With this one you can put it in. Now this one is not an NVMe, this is an M.2 Theta. I'm just gonna put it in to make sure that answer the question for those people that is detectable. I'm pretty sure it's gonna detect, but it might not, so let's see. But it is an Gen 3 NVMe. To remove this mechanical drive, you wanna remove four screws. One on there, one right there, there, and there. So you wanna remove these four screws. These are for 2.5 inch. This is the one right there. And right there. And then you can lift it up like this, bring it up a little bit. Lift up the battery so you can unhook it. And then you don't want to stress this cable, just put your finger underneath and grab this adapter. Put your finger right there and pull it out so you can remove it. Now you can grab again another Samsung or Crucial 2.5 inch up to 4 terabyte. In this case, I have one Kingston lying around right here. And you want to put this one in here, but you need this bracket. It's called a caddy. The caddy holds the hard drive in place by one, two, three, four, two screws on each side. And you want to make sure the orientation of the SATA for this one matches the same orientation on that one. So you want to remove like that and put this one exactly on the same spot. So you want to remove this one right here. Remove the screws on the sides. Lift it up, bring it out. Put it to one side. And the same way that you remove that one, this one has to go in. If you put it the other way around, the connector will be inverted and it will not go through the connector. Once you put the screws, now you want to bring it up. I'll put it like this. And then you want to push this connector inside the hard drive gently. Put the hooks under the battery. Align the screw holes. And put the four screws on the caddy. So I'm going to power on. And I should be able to see a 2, 256 gig. This one, I think the 256 or 400, I don't remember. I don't need to put the bottom cover to check it, but for the heck of the video, I'm just gonna put it. Once you put everything in there, got the bottom cover, push it in there, squeeze the corners, the back, and make sure if you see any opening, just push them down, and it's gonna snap into its place. Put the short screws in the front, the mid, and the back, the rest of the screws. And then you can just put your Windows installation USB. Let me find my Windows 10. And then I'll put it right in there. And then 
if you can power it on and press F12. This one is kind of dirty. USB drive Samsung. And last way to get to the Windows step installation steps. And I should be able to detect the hard drives in there. I'm going to clean this one up. Alright, so click next, install now. And I don't have a product key. Just click I don't have a product key and terms and licensing, agree, advanced customize. And there it does detect that. So in this laptop it does detect that NVMe and M.2 SATA. Because it takes disk one and disk two, both of them are 200 gig. So, and this covers up today's video. I hope you guys liked it and helped you guys out to upgrade your storage for your Lenovo IdeaPad 3 laptop. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.